Hi Beshies! Welcome again to my channel. So in this video, I am going to share with you my favorite eyeshadow palettes. And ito yung mga nagre-range sa parati ko ginagamit sa ginagamit ko sakto. And hindi ko masyado ginagamit pero I still keep kasi gusto ko yung quality. And to put a twist to this video, I'm going to share my favorite expensive eyeshadow palettes and affordable eyeshadow palettes. If you want to know what these eyeshadow palettes are, then please keep on watching. So since eyeshadow and topic natin guys, ayan, medyo in-all out ko yung eyeshadow ko, pati yung false eyelashes ko. Yung false eyelashes ko, they are from Makeup Forever. Sobrang love ko to kasi tinan nyo, parang medyo may pagka-violet yung fringes niya. And on my eyes, I'm wearing right now is BYS Cosmic Palette. It's this one. So, kasama to sa favorites natin, malalaman nyo yan mamaya. Okay, so let us start with my favorite expensive eyeshadow palette. So, ito yung mga eyeshadow palettes na some of them mga online famous. So, sumikat sila online and... Sobrang nagustuhan ko rin talaga yung quality. As in, worth it. Worth it yung rave sa kanila. I'm starting, of course, with my super favorite. Ito yung pinaka-favorite ko sa lahat ng luxury eyeshadow palettes ko. And until now, favorite ko pa rin siya among all the eyeshadow palettes I have. And it's Anastasia Modern Renaissance. So, itong Anastasia Modern Renaissance, sumika to ng sobra because it's one of the first... Um, berry palettes na lumabas and ang ganda rin ng quality and most especially uh, magaganda yung mga pinks niya isa to sa mga palettes na merong authentic na magenta and pink shades yung authentic meaning paglagay mo pink talaga yung labas niya and ito yung itsura what I love most about this palette pa is ang ganda ng mga mattes. Mabilis i-blend and ang ganda nung... Mas ang ganda lang nung pahid niya sa balat. And also very friendly to warm skin tones. As in, itong pink niya, kung ano yung labas nito sa, nito sa maputi, yun din yung labas niya sa morena skin tone. Mag-sample swatch tayo. O, di ba naman guys? Grabe yung pigment niya, tsaka yung pagkamat. As in... Pack na pack. This palette, parati ko itong ginagamit. And yung price range niya, nasa mga 2,000 and up. But if you're gonna buy it locally, mas mahal pa doon. So, kung meron kayong way para orderin to abroad, better kasi mas makakamura kayo. Next is, eto online famous din tong palette na to. And favorite din siya ni Nikki Tutorials. And it's Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Palette. So, eto yung isa sa mga eyeshadow palettes na um, pinag-investan ko talaga and nagpa-convert sa akin into an eyeshadow lover dahil, grabe naman guys, tingnan nyo naman, tingnan nyo yung colors niya and sumika to kasi sobrang pigmented, number one tapos to yung mga metallic niya, talagang metal talaga yung labas, in fact they're so metallic na parang liquid metal na nga yung finish for some of the shades so this is the Nubian One palette so eto yung first ever palette na lumabas and these are comprised of neutral shades Ayan. Ito guys, tignan nyo. Grabe yung pigment. Swatch natin. <gasps> ah! Grabe! <laughs> Sobrang creamy nito. Tapos, ang dali i-blend. Kahit, kahit creamy siya, hindi siya yung dumidikit sa balat. Sobrang bilis niya i-blend. And then, konti lang, pack na. As in, litaw na litaw na yung shade. Juvia's Place. Um... Itong Nubian palette, this is around 1.8 and up. Of course, if you can order it abroad then mas makamura kayo. Juvia's Place is not a commercial brand and hindi in terms of yung um, accessibility, hindi siya as accessible as um, Anastasia, ano pa ba, um, mga Kat Von D. Kasi ano siya, indie brand. So, yung parang niche brand siya. Maliit pa lang siya ng company in the US. So, may hirapan kayong umorder unless magkakilala kayo sa US. So, I would advise for this particular palette, hanap na lang kayo ng resellers. Kasi, um, ayun, parang mawawala na yung hassle ng pag-order sa kanya. Mas mamamahal ka, pero worth it naman siya. Maganda talaga tong palette na to. Isa to sa mga eyeshadow sa parati ko rin ginagamit. Next natin is Makeup Forever. So, this is one of the first eyeshadow palettes I owned. Ito yung, um, bagong look ng artist shadows ng Makeup Forever. Makeup Forever has over, what, 100 shades at if I'm not mistaken. Really, really nice. And, yung maganda pa sa kanya, ang laki ng mga pants, as you can see. So, 
konti lang talaga okay na. Eh. Matagal siya magla-last. Sulit to kapag makeup artist ka kasi nga ang laki ng pans. And this pan, by the way, is customizable and also refillable. Ang gusto ko rin sa kanya is yung mga mats niya magaganda. And ang dami niyang, ang dami niyang shades and finishes sobra. So from matte, satin, metallic, shimmer, and diamond. Diamond is yung um, pigments na to eh. Yung sobrang sparkly talaga meron sila. So, iswatch lang natin ng mabilis. Ayan, grabe. Buong buo yung pigments, guys. This a shadow palette. Medyo ginagamit ko lang siya because um, mas inuubos ko yung mga malalaking palettes ko because mas maraming pan. So, therefore, I feel na I have to use them all the time para hindi naman sila masira in my makeup kit. But Makeup Forever, it's always in my list. And in fact, kapag meron ako mga ginagawang looks, na especially mga neutrals, eto, I turn to Makeup Forever also kasi magaganda yung neutrals in ng Makeup Forever pigmented. Next is my new favorite, Kat Von D Shade and Light. So, kabibili ko lang neto. Recently, fresh na fresh from Australia. Dala ng friend ko. So, this is what it looks like. Ayan, yung inspiration nung palette is para siyang coffin. This is what it looks like. This is an eyeshadow quad. So, eto. Yung shade na meron ako is called Sage. Kaya ko ito kinuha kasi medyo nainganyo ako dun sa dark green na forest green na eyeshadow shade. Kasi hirap humanap ng dark green na shade na yung babagay sa morena. Tapos yung ang labas niya is dark green talaga. And then I saw swatches online na ganun nga yung labas niya sa mga warm skin tones. And I am happy to report na yes, totoo nga. Dark green nga labas sa akin ito. What's nice about this palette is, ayan, um, pigmented din. And it's one of the nicest matte eyeshadows I have tried. Tapos, ayan, meron siyang apat na shades in this one ano siya pang yung parang what do you call this this is a base and with its shade pwede rin siyang pang contour on some parts ayan eto siya so ang ganda ng dark green no smooth talaga siya na matte eyeshadow so ang dali i-blend kung newbie ka nahihirapan ka sa matte eyeshadows matte eyeshadows for me it's one of the hardest um, textures to work with and mas mapapadali talaga yung buhay mo and mas um, ilalove mo ang matte eyeshadows if the formula is nice to begin with. And, for my recommendation, ayan, shade and light eye contour, magaganda yung matte nito. Shade and light eye contour, mga nasa 1.8 to, if I'm not mistaken, sa Sephora PH. Nakuha ko lang to around 1.5, but I got it in Australia. So, ayan, okay siya. Ang ganda rin niya pang bag, very sleek, very compact. Tapos, ang ganda lang talaga. Ako mahilig ka sa magandang packaging. Go best! Last but not the least is Guerlain. So, Guerlain, this is a French brand and luxury brand siya. Itong eyeshadow palette na to is called Five Palette Colors. Ayan, ganda yung tsura niya. So, there are five colors. Tapos, ayan, this palette that I have is called Tonka Imperial. Favorite ko to. Ito yung tinatawag ko na everyday eyeshadow palette and eyeshadow palette to for my bag. As in, pag kailangan ko mag eyeshadow at the end of the day, tapos yung parang gusto ko yung mabilisin, pero maganda pa rin. Ayan. Ito yung nilalagay ko parati sa bag ko. So, nilabas ko nga siya today. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Parati ko itong nilalagay sa bag. It's not as pigmented as Modern Renaissance, Juvia's Place, and even Kat Von D Shade and Light. But, the beauty of the texture of the shadows is, hindi siya yung sobrang pigmented and gradual mo siyang nabibuild. Very controlled yung paglabas ng pigments if you swatch the palette. So, perfect siya pag kunyari wala kang brush, gaganong-ganon mo lang siya using your finger. So, this is a finger-friendly eyeshadow palette. Talaga yung pangtipong nagmamadali, pero nagmamadali, pero maganda pa rin yung labas ng eyeshadow palette. Ayan, I turn to this. So, eto yung bronze shade. Kita nyo naman, hindi siya masyadong pigmented, pero maganda pa rin yung lapat ng kulay. And, meron tong kasama na pouch. Hindi ko alam. Hindi ako sure. Meron ba? Ang ganda ng ano, palette niya. Social na social talaga. And very compact, very sleek. Meron din siyang kasamang mga parang eyeshadow, um, what do you call this? Eyeshadow brushes inside. So, yan. Perfect to for travel and for everyday use. Itong eyeshadow palette na hmm, hindi ko siya mabasa. Ginagamit ko siya everyday because as I said, it's my emergency everyday eyeshadow palette. Alright, so those are my favorite luxury eyeshadow palettes. Punta naman tayo sa affordable favorite eyeshadow palettes ko. 
First on my affordable list is of course my drugstore favorite BYS eyeshadow palettes. Meron akong berries pero hindi ko alam kung saan ko siya nalagay. Kanina ko pa nga siya hinahanap. Sana hindi ko siya nawala or naiwan sa workshop or whatever. Basta. So yon. BYS eyeshadow palettes over the years sobrang nag-improve na yung quality ng eyeshadow sila. And what's nice pa about BYS is Number one yung tins. Sobrang gusto, sobrang gusto ko tong tins nila. And number two, yung um, pigmentation sobrang okay din. As in, maganda yung pigmentation ng products nila. Less fallout na, creamy. O, yung some shades almost as creamy as Juvia's Place, yung iba. And meron din siyang slight staining effect. Meaning, hindi mabilis matanggal yung color. So, if wala kang primer and oily lids ka, this will most likely stay on your lids. Pero of course, in-advise ko pa rin mag-primer ka. Ayan yung peach. Bakit nag-aano? Ayan yung peach. Bonggang bongga, ba? Grabe yung pigmentation. So, itong si BYS, around 1 to 99 ata per, um, per tin. Hindi siya ganun kamura, pero the shades that we have here, ilan siya? 3, 6, 9, 12 shades din siya. Tapos, pahaba pa yung, um, yung per pan. So, marami-rami rin. And as I said, bongga. Sobrang pigmented niya. So, konti lang talaga okay na. Plus, maganda rin yung staying power. So, you can afford to spend a bit more kung gusto mo mag-invest. Then, yan. Okay na talaga tong mga eyeshadow palettes ng BYS. My current favorite eyeshadows to date sa drugstore. Next is Sleek Eye Divine Eyeshadow Palette. So, this is a mineral-based palette. Kaya, Sobrang pigmented din niya. May time na nagsisimula akong mag-vlog ng mga 2009-2010. People are crazy about Sleek's eyeshadow palettes. Itong Eye Divine. Kasi isa to sa mga unang murang lumabas na um, sobrang pigmented. Tapos maganda. So, eto siya. I have here yung original one. Ramihan ng mineral shadows, ba Mga loose or mabilis. Parang matindi yung fallout. Dito, hindi. Yung Sleek Eyeshadow Palette is around 700, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hindi rin siya ganun kamura, pero tingnan nyo naman guys, ang dami namang eyeshadow. So, there are 3, 6, 12 shades per palette. So, sulit na yung 700. Tapos, maganda rin yung pigmentation niya. Perfect para dun sa mga tao na um, can spend a bit more on eyeshadow palettes, pero hindi naman yung lalagpas ng 1,000. Tsaka yung mga mahilig din mag eyeshadow. So, sulit to. Magagamit niya talaga. Next is LA Girl Eyeshadow Palette. So, ayan. Nakatin din siya, pero mas makapal siya. Tapos, parang candy yung ano, lalagyan. And this is what it looks like inside. So, there are six shades for this one. Meron din siyang iba-ibang shades. Meron ako nito tong brown. Meron din ako ng color white and then color blue. Um, purple ata yung combination ng isa tapos yung isa naman is blue and this is yung neutral nila so ang magusto ko dito meron siyang pinky shades and in fairness meron ano, transition shades din na nilagay si LA Girl dito so very trendy another nice thing about this is ayan yung eyeshadows parang naka enclose siya sa ano what you call this parang styro ba to ayun so para pag bumagsak siya protected from the fall cushion from the fall Tapos, makapal din yung tin. So, ayan, mas may, meron pang protection. However, I cannot guarantee na kapag bumagsak siya, is hindi mababasag. So, that's just my assessment lang of the packaging. Ito siya. Maganda naman siya. And very perfect for everyday yung, ano, yung shades niya. This eyeshadow palette, medyo ginagamit ko rin. Um, because ang dami ko lang talaga eyeshadow palettes. And as I said, mas favorite ko talaga si Guerlain for everyday. Pero kung gusto ko nung medyo may color din talaga yung pang everyday makeup ko, I reach out for the LA Girl Eyeshadow Palettes. Magkano ba to? Shocks! Bakit hindi ko alam mga prices ng eyeshadow palettes. Mga na sa 500 ada to. So, yun. Mura. Slightly cheaper than um, Sleek and BYS. So, kung gusto mo lang nung perfect pang everyday and gusto mo rin nung magandang quality pero hindi mo medyo afford mag-spend ng over 600. Ayan. Okay tong eyeshadow palette na to for you. Pink Sugar Eye Candy Eyeshadow Quad. So, eto na yung bagong packaging nila. Before, it came in bigger palettes. Pero sabi ni Pink Sugar, yung fans daw nila gusto mas compact daw yung palette. That's why they came up with this one. 
So this is now the new eyeshadow palettes. Although hindi ko alam kung if face out nila yung um, mga original na eye candy palettes, yung mas malalaki. So this shade is called Tiramisu. Now ang maganda rin sa pink sugar, maganda yung pigmentation, yung quality. And ang maganda sa kanila is meron sila ng trendy colors and meron din silang classic colors na maganda yung pigmentation such as black tapos dark brown. Ayan. Ito yung swatch ng black. Kita niyo naman maganda siya. These eyeshadows, they're very easy to blend as well. And maganda yung, yung lapat din sa skin. Now, this eyeshadow palette, medyo ginagamit ko lang din siya because, ano ba, hindi ko pa siya halos sa bubuks. Hindi ko pa nga nare-review to. So, I have yet to use this. But tiramisu, I've used already in one of my eyeshadow um, makeup looks. And nagustuhan ko naman siya. Madali siya i-blend. And... Para sa mga girls dyan na walang budget talaga beyond 500, Pink Sugar Eyeshadow Quads, eto, they're around 300 plus lang. So, kung gusto nyo ng eyeshadow quad na maganda talaga yung quality, pero suwak sa budget, ayan, get Pink Sugar. Yung next eyeshadow palette na gusto ko is Bobbi Cosmetics. Meron ako nun before, pero ayan, naiwan ko ata dun sa other house ko. So, I'm just gonna flash a picture here. So, eto si Bobby. Maganda to because uno na sa lahat, sobrang mura niya. 200 plus lang. Tapos, when I tried it, sabi ko, uy, okay to ah, for its price. And marami rin ako nagagawang look sa kanya. So, yan. If you can't really spend beyond 300, okay to. Kasi 200 plus lang siya. Ang dami pang shades and perfect para dun sa mga budding um, makeup fans, sa mga body makeup artists, kung gusto nyo ng pag-practicean lang, or kung bigyan na budget ka, pero gusto mo talaga ng maganda ring eyeshadow palette, ayan, okay na yung Bobbi Cosmetics. So, that's all, Beshies, for my favorite eyeshadow palette. I hope you like this video, and let me know kung alin dito yung nagamit nyo na, yung meron kayo, and your favorites, and, you know, let's talk about it at the comment section. Lahat ng prices, all throughout the video, di ako sigurado. So, ayun. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. Don't forget to follow my social media accounts, visit my blog. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!